Alrighty, everyone. Thank you all for joining us for the September community call. Uh, if you guys could please let me know in the chat that you can hear me, and then we'll get started. Alrighty, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Awesome, beautiful. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, this will be the, the September community call and summer review. We're very excited to host this call as we have a ton to review, and we're finally set to showcase the official proof of stake proposal that we've actually begun working on the infrastructure for. So we have a lot to go over, and we'll jump right into it. I have about 17 slides to present, uh, and then of course, this is actually being recorded right now. It'll be posted on YouTube, providing everything goes well with the recording. Um, and there will also be a monthly roundup article probably early next week, if not uh, late this week. Uh, we expect the next few months to be incredibly hectic and very exciting as we officially begun the transition to proof of stake, making WitNet the first layer one proof of stake oracle in the world. So that's uh, not a small feat by any means, so we're very excited to present that to you guys. So without further ado, let's jump into it. First up, on September 22nd, the WitNet network successfully added its two millionth block to the blockchain. A very important milestone in the young network's life. This is a massive achievement. We're so proud of the network for uh, completing this milestone. So all you node runners, congratulations uh, on coming to a consensus for every single block and um, continuing to move along forward without uh, any central planning. It's fantastic. We'll uh, now move into the state of the ecosystem. Um, this is actually a slide about all of the, pro the protocols that WitNet secures. This picture on the top right here represents the list of known protocols uh, according to DeFi Llama on their respective chains. At the time of this slideshow creation, WitNet is securing about $53 million dollars in on-chain value and is ranked 13th. Um, sorry, I got distracted by Dr. CPU's message. Forgive me. Uh, so ranked 13th with a market cap uh, to total value secured ratio of 12.4. So the largest protocol continues to be quick swap on uh, Polygon proof of stake. Next up, we have some bullish community stats. These are stats from our last month and throughout the summer of our Telegram, Discord, and Twitter to showcase how the community has grown. The largest one on the top left is the last month in our Telegram, and we can see, uh, we can attribute a lot of the growth in the, the new advocates joining the community and staying because uh, they recognize the, um, the power that WitNet holds right now. Uh, below that chart is the Discord numbers throughout the summer. So we did see a pretty steep decline in members as people fled the server after the hack. I don't blame them. Uh, that's probably something I would do too. But we're happy to say we only s lost roughly 60%, which is a very minuscule percentage of the actual members we hold. And then, of course, the numbers began crawling back up, and it's uh, slowly making its way back to its peak. Uh, the top right figure is another figure for our Discord server in the month of September alone. Uh, since the hack happened in September, like I said, it's not surprising to see the total member count go down. Uh, but like I said, it's starting to slowly meander its way back up. Um, Below that chart is the Twitter following in the last month. Um, we saw t we're seeing a ton of impressions on our tweets, and we saw 120 new followers as the WitNet name is being spread out because of our uh, advocates completing tasks and uh, helping to widen our reach. And then finally, in the bottom right is the Telegram throughout the summer. This is actually a really exciting chart for me because uh, this represents um, a deep incline to seeing our telegram numbers go up uh, even prior to the advocate program starting since we started that a little bit later in the summer so we were actually growing pretty significantly um, since about June so that's great to see next up I want to talk a little bit about the discord hack uh, that happened in mid-September so on the 10th the server was attacked and nearly everything was deleted the next day we reached out to discord support but it was clear that they weren't able or didn't want to help us uh, six days after that, the seven, on the 17th of September, we made alternative plans to reboot the server and just kind of recreate it from the ground up, which was definitely a frustrating experience because we had a lot of uh, great chats that we wanted to keep, but um, so be it, I guess. So next, the next day, on the 18th, we, re we relaunched it and it was functioning properly with new security measures in place. So essentially what happened was somebody actually hacked my personal account by um, stealing a session token. Um, they used my admin powers to ban and delete many of the WitNet developers and the channels. So like I said, unfortunately, all of those discussions are likely lost forever. Uh, that's a huge bummer. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. But the good news is that there is no reported loss of funds. 
since we don't have any wallet connections or configurations like some Discord servers do. Uh, so the attacker wasn't able to steal any funds. There were no reports of that. And everything at this point is back to normal and we're trying to repopulate the channels. Of course, that's going to take some time. And um, I was able to recreate the dis Discord server making some changes that I was planning on making um, for a while. So I guess um, that's, if there's a silver li lining, it would be that. Next up is the Advocate program. So we are rolling into week six and the final week of the program. I wanted to de detail some amazing statistics that show the wide success of the program. There were a total of 610 submissions as of this morning, 184 unique advocates with 151 approved submissions. So the foundation at, that, at this point has paid out around 240,000 in WIT, not including this current week because that'll be paid out next week. Uh, if you want to participate, please head to the website, witnet.io, and there will be a little link to um, the advocate landing page. Uh, I do not have any uh, example submissions. I wanted to save that for um, maybe the next call so I could kind of bunch those together and showcase a few of them. But uh, there's a lot of great performers in the advocate program, and you probably know who you are if you've been doing the good work and getting paid. Next up, um, one of the integrations that happened in the month of September was Polygon ZK EVM mainnet. Um, we actually are adding a new protocol called Noom Crypto that will be using the Witnet Oracle, and that's all I can say at this point. Uh, next up is the Syscoin Layer 2 uh, Rolux. So uh, we've been partnered with Syscoin for quite a while. It's been a, probably a little over a year now, and we're really happy to launch on their Layer 2. Uh, it's cheap, it's efficient, it's quick. Uh, so it was a great place to be one of the first oracles, as they expect a lot of use, users there, and they're coming up with some new DeFi uh, integrations that actually sounded really bullish when they were explaining it to us. So that's fantastic. Uh, next up, in September, it was also announced that the Witcoin will be listed on Changely, a new swap exchange that will increase liquidity and trading volume of the Witcoin. Um, these swap exchanges and some of the Tier 2 exchanges that we're on help um, uh, increase our... Um, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, credibility, so that we can be listed on tier one exchanges. Of course, in due time, as liquidity grows, trading volume grows, and all that sort of good stuff. Next up is a great announcement that we are coming out with uh, probably later this week, cross-chain data requests. So it's a new and very exciting addition to the WitNet development kit. Uh, it's the ability to query and use any uh, data requests to receive information from any blockchain network. Um, it's a new type of data request that we've built. Uh, like I said, it allows anyone to query any history or state of a totally separate blockchain network. That means that transactions that execute on chain, on chain one can cause a, a change or uh, essentially execute a smart contract on chain two. Um, so this creates new use cases uh, for the WitNet Oracle. And it's something that we're incredibly bullish on. Um, not a lot of people are talking about it. It's, it's, it's not similar to uh, Chainlink's CCIP, um, thankfully, because that's a lot of, uh, a whole lot of nothing, nothing burger, I guess you could say. But this is actually some real development. Um, so we're excited to bring that to the world very shortly. So that was the month of September. Let's now move into the summer of WitNet. So a, a review of um, everything that happened in, during the summer that was built on WitNet, connected to or collaborated with uh, since about June. So I was going to use multiple slides, but it was just far too much information. So I kept it on one slide and tried to keep it neat. And I'm just going to run through it real quick. So please um, bear with me. And if you have any questions, let me know. So first thing we did this summer was deploy on the Boba BNB chain. We then funded the DoDAO project for their dynamic data request protocol that will use WitNet uh, data feeds to query information from GitHub to complete tasks. After that, we received recognition in part with the Pool Together uh, Community Protocol uh, for helping fund one ETH to uh, the Water Aid organization. WIT then got listed on Let's Exchange. We went to ETHCC in Paris and also gave a talk at the Blockchain Oracle Summit. If you guys want to check those out, please go to our YouTube. Uh, after that, we launched My WIT Wallet beta on PC, Android, and Apple. Uh, we then got Wit, the Witcoin listed on SimpleSwap and launched the community creation contest that actually got 60,000 Wit funded from the community. Um, after that, the Witcoin was listed on StealthX, and then we launched the third season of the Advocate program. In late August, my Wit wallet was listed on the Microsoft Store. After that, we launched on Mantle. We, like I said earlier in this slideshow, we got uh, listed on Changely. 
and then we launched Polygon ZK EVM mainnet, and then Syscoin's Layer 2. So that brings us to today. Quite an adventure this summer. There was a lot to be bullish on, a lot of building, and um, you know, we're, we're always heads down building, so um, I think that this, this graph sort of represents that. Um, we'll now move on to discuss the WitNet 2.0 and the transition to proof of stake. So a lot of these changes you might have heard Essentially, um, when we first announced it and we first had a few of the protocol discussions in previous community calls, um, they were not final. And then through the last few months, we've been working on it to bring to the world an official proof of stake proposal that we have actually begun the code for. So um, that's really exciting. We should probably give a few, um, a few uh, claps for that. Uh, so. You might have heard a few of these before. A list of the changes. Stake transaction and unstake transaction would essentially be how you lock your wit into um, the staking, I guess, pool, you could say. The stakes tracker is a data structure that will essentially track a node's contribu contribution. Uh, power equals stake amount times stake age. And then uh, we're essentially unifying witnessing and mining so that um, data requests and uh, Mining are under the same sort of umbrella when it comes to like reputation. I mean, reputation is not a good word for it, but um, we can cover that a little bit more. So, like I said, so we're removing reputation, collateralized inputs, and reward outputs, which are tally transactions, uh, deprecation of mint transactions, uh, superblock voting from the stakes tracker, and relative time locks. So, those are the few of the big changes that are coming. Um, <clears throat> proof of stake in a nutshell. Nodes must stake to perform the network functions like witnessing and validating. Staked coins must be unstaked before they can move. So essentially a stake transaction, when you perform that, it consumes a UTXO or a unspent transaction output and puts it into the stakes tracker so that your node can be within that data structure. So once they're staked, the coins begin accruing age, which relates to power on the network, like witnessing and mining. Uh, when a node proposes a block, age is reset back to zero, and that's kind of the really important function within the WitNet proof of stake to kind of uh, dissuade a lot of the centralization issues that we see with other proof of stake networks. So that's a really important point. Uh, block rewards go directly into the stake balance and begin accruing age as well, which is also very exciting. Um, and then nodes who unstake all or partial amounts must wait two weeks before the WIT is spendable via a UTXO. So that's uh, similar to a lot of other proof of stake networks when you uh, unstake your, your coins at the protocol level. And most importantly, like I've kind of alluded to, this is a complete draft and work has begun on the first version of the testnet, expected to go live a little later this month, maybe early next month, with a full mainnet launch towards the end of the year. So with that comes a lot of um, marketing plans that we have set in place. Um, for this uh, launch that we're very excited to um, bring to bring to the world. So uh, I can't really say much more on that. Um, that's going to be a surprise as we uh, come, come up to that. But it's very exciting and I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. Um, if you have any proof of stake questions, we are actually going to be release, releasing a form so that you can ask and uh, we will be answering them later on this month. I'm planning on doing a separate proof of stake call. It won't really be a community call. It'll be more of like a um, Q&A type of thing. So I'm going to release this form. You guys can ask any questions you want and we're going to try to um, get those answered. But additionally, um, I was planning on having Adon here to kind of give a presentation about proof of stake a little bit more in depth because he's, you know, the man that uh, drafted it. So he has a lot of that insight, but uh, he's currently sick right now uh, and we didn't, he didn't want to um, have to do too much talking. So we're going to push that a little bit down the road, probably to mid-October, have a separate call for it, and it'll be a, um, just a really good uh, night. So um, hopefully you guys get, can, can come to that. We'll do a lot of um, promotion for that when the time comes. Uh, and that actually concludes the September community call. Um, we did that pretty quick. So uh, if you guys have any questions, please ask them in the, uh, ask them in the Discord <coughs> Witverse channel. Uh, and then I will release that uh, survey that I mentioned uh, in the next few minutes. So if you guys have any questions, please let us know. When reward, that's a good one. I'm sick of hearing that. Please, not even as a joke, please stop asking me that. 
And also, by the way, I don't see Witnet on Changely. I don't believe, um, I don't believe they actually listed it. They uh, announced that they were going to list it shortly, and I believe they announced that uh, in the last few days of September. So um, we're still waiting on that. And actually, when we made those plans with them, we, we made that, those plans back in July, and they told us that it was going to be a few months of integration. So I'm not surprised that you don't see that on Changely quite yet. Ben, do you like my work? It's not created with the help of chat GPT. Yeah, I do. Um, and yeah, I cannot wait until this program is over and we can find a better way to avoid all of that nonsense because uh, that's driving me up a wall, um, as you can probably imagine. Uh, my DMs are flooded every morning when I wake up and it's driving me up a wall. Any other questions? And of course, I say that with love very much. I love everyone uh, in our community. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> any more questions, people? I'm not seeing any typing, so that's good. Hopefully I got everything answered. Um, somebody's typing. Petre. Absolutely, yeah. Yes, and uh, I will be coming out with an announcement article. Um, it's actually scheduled to go out tomorrow, which will have much more information for the rest of the community uh, when that's out. Yes, I want to read more about cross-chain. Exactly. We have that ready to go. I read your mind. I knew that you were going to say that. It's, it is planned for around... Um, 11 a.m. tomorrow, uh, my time. So, you know, I don't know what that is for you, but uh, that will be ready to go um, tomorrow morning. Yes, I believe that's correct, yeah. Exactly, and I'll have a tweet thread prepared for that as well. Um, all right, any more questions, anyone? Okay, so people are pretty quiet here, um, which is a good sign. But like I said, please prepare yourselves for the uh, proof of stake discussion that we'll have mid October. That's going to be a very exciting one. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't have much more to say about it than that. Um, I'm really bullish about it, and um, I'm sure you guys will be too, because uh, being the first, go ahead. I, I do. Um, let me pull that up here. Right, exactly, yeah. He, he hopefully, he might have a presentation prepared um, or not. I mean, like I said, I will release that form, um, that tally form that you guys can ask questions and we can get them all answered. Um, pretty much everything, everything that you guys want answered. An God, I can't talk when I'm reading. And anything that you guys want answered, we will have answers to them by then. All right. I'm uh, not seeing any more typing. Oh, Lord Pabs is typing. Okay then. All right. Um, all right. So I think that'll conclude the community call for the day. I appreciate you guys showing up. Uh, another successful one. Um, <clears throat> we're seeing a lot more people join these calls, which is fantastic. Of course, we're still a small and close knit community, but um, you know I love that a lot because everybody has answers when uh, people have questions and. Uh, it's always great to see, as a community manager, um, people in the community being able to answer um, more tech, technical questions or pretty much any question that uh, somebody may have. So um, thank you all for, for, for being in the WitNet community and uh, just keep up the uh, excitement. 
And without further ado, we will uh, end the community call here. Thank mm -hmm. you.